Hello, my name's Tom. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today we're going to be carrying on with our second 1920 British campaign. Now, if you remember, we had to start over due to a bug which uh, made the game a tad unplayable. Mainly that, the hulls bug. Uh, so we've started over. We've redesigned our ships. We have the Anson-class battleship, the Agincourt-class battlecruiser, the Hope class heavy cruiser, the new Foundland class floating gun barge, also known as a light boat, light cruiser, and the Zealous class destroyer. So, today we're going to be ordering our ships and getting going with our campaign. We need to take into account how many ships the Germans have built and build roughly accordingly, because if you remember in our last campaign, we ran out of money basically, or we were going to run out of money. So, the Germans have built 4, 2, 6, 7, and 6, which is interesting. 25 seems like not many ships. I'm going to match them for battleships. So, we're going to order 4 of the Anson class. Um, I'm going to immediately set 3 of them to be in the North Sea. So, out of Rossife. Uh, likely is, the 4th one will also be in the North Sea. However, I'm also going to order 3 battle crew. Well... Now here's a question. I'm going to order three of them. I want a fourth. Now these are all going to scap a flow. Now, cruisers. They've got six and seven. I think we go for five, eight, and eight. I don't know if that's enough. Maybe, hmm, now I want, eight, 8 DDs just doesn't seem like many, but the game has updated. 5, how much of these? They're quite expensive. I'm going to go for the 8. We can't afford 8. How can we not af hmm. Good lord, okay. Mm, so, with 8 DDs, okay, I see, they really have changed something here. Um, how many light cruisers can we afford? Oh, we can only afford 5, 4 even. Ooh, okay, well, in that case, I only ordered 5 of these, good lord. Well, one of those battleships. Sorry, Funderer. <clears throat> Does that give us our money back? We've got a little bit money back. Yeah, so how many light cruisers can we build? Can't... Ugh, good lord. We can still only build four of them. That's not enough. Oh boy. Well, we're going to be on the back foot here. With two ships down. They've got a battleship. I mean, I guess we've got equal number of capital ships. But it depends what their capital ships consist of. I've got more DDs. But the cruiser numbers are scaring me. They've got far more cruisers. Well, this might be a bit of an uphill fight. Mm. Anyway. We are also really tanking the monthly budget. Um... Hmm, how can I fix that? There we go. Alright, you probably will not agree with that. 13,000 tons on a light cruiser, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, do you know what, we're going to need more cruisers, so I'm going to specify that we design, we get that underdone, undertaken immediately, and we can then design new... Um... New cruisers with some haste, I think. Okay, with that sorted, we're probably just going to wait until those two months are done, and then I'm probably going to. I'd like better gun layouts, but we'll we'll probably just specify like hull protection or something. Just get like a passive bonus to that. Anyway, our ships are under construction. Let's go, shall we? There we have it. Finances are in the toilet. <laughs> Let's try and get into our first fight, shall we? I'm eager to use these ships. So, we've got a convoy. It's a 
classic us running down their ships. We're going to go ahead and take the fight, obviously. Ooh, and we get a good look at their cruisers. Now, that heavy cruiser has six turrets. That's scary. That light cruiser has four. But I think those are torpedo tubes on the deck there. Goodness me. Right. They've been spotted to the northeast. So we're going to turn... Nougat? Nougant? Nugget? Nung... Nu... Nurseus <laughs> Nugget. I'm going to name these ships. Now, if you remember from previously, this is exactly what I designed these ships for. These have heavy 3-inch shells designed purposefully for running down destroyers and transports. Right, let's run ahead, find the transports, and see how many we can sink before their, uh, their escorts turn up. That said, I was about to do a cut, and we've already found them. There you can see the three inch shell the shells already doing a oh That was unnecessary. I'm going to turn the torpedoes off. I want to save our torpedoes. I think we have an increased torpedo load. No, we don't. Okay. But what we do have is six torpedo tubes. So, we've got enough. Um, that said... Yep. That ate a torpedo. Fair enough. Maybe we will be using our torpedoes. Here we see the lovely 3-inch guns in action. Our super-firing pair that we worked so hard for doing their job. like a nice up close personal look at those um, escorts then I know what I'm dealing with but that would involve getting my crew my destroyers dangerously close now as we have discussed in previous campaigns unfortunately the Lord, that reload speed is terrible and they've both just launched their salvos Well, oh, Rune just took one. I think Hindenburg's already taken one. Those torpedoes were a waste. Those three inch guns, those heavy three inch guns are doing absolute. They are amazing. As I was saying, uh, we've discussed previously, unfortunately, we don't get many victory points for sinking transports. I personally think if you achieve your. Uh, objective up here, you should be given a good helping, because this is quite tactful use of ships to run down a convoy, ruin the ships, and then get away before the big and hostiles come in. But, uh, what we do do, even if we don't, um, even if we don't get victory points, what we do achieve is, this is a lot of economic damage, because there are crews that have to be replaced and ships that have to be rebuilt on for every transport we sink. Now I couldn't be happier with what's going on at the moment. The our transport, our lovely DDs here are absolutely achieving precisely what I wanted. They are beautiful murder machines against these unarmored ships. Now, we might experience later down the line that the Germans have designed a destroyer. Oh, I've just noticed one of them's getting away. Let's have this second destroyer turn around and sink it. The Germans might have designed a destroyer even more lethal than mine, but hopefully not. I've found that the AI is actually in camp. So in the custom battles, the AI, the AI has a bad tendency to design against what you've built, which is annoying. 
because the ships the ships are designed randomly after you've designed your ship. But in the campaign, that doesn't seem to happen so much, which is nice. Well, no, keep firing on that, torpedo that, and turn your torpedoes on. Do you have any torpedoes loaded? I don't think you do. Okay. Anyway, the Germans don't seem to do that so much in this campaign, in the campaign, meaning it's a bit fairer. I think they're just using a good design, school of design. Um, yeah, this is where having single ships comes up a bit. Of, this is why these have to raid in pairs, really. Because I want all of these to transport sunk. Come on. I need to get in closer, that's probably why. This the crew of this transport must be terrified as they're just watching this someone's just launched torpedoes. Is that you? Hello, what is this? That's the light cruiser. Oh good lord. I can tell it's the light cruiser because it um only has four turrets. That thing has four 7-inch guns mounted in single turrets. A eight, there's eight 4-inches and two 5-inches. Where are the 5-inches? That wasn't out at the front there, I think it is. Do you know, I think it would be better if the, uh, I think the AI needs to rework re redoing. That's the light cruiser. Um, I'm... I wish it wasn't, but it is. Alright, Nurseus, keep going. Yeah, I think it just launched torpedoes. Because I heard the torpedo sound, meaning Nurseus probably is going to have to do a bit of torpedo beating to try and get out of there. Right. There we go. You see what happens when you get this close and start firing those three inches. Come on, he said. Fire the three inches. And turning around, that's why. Oh, you goon, don't do that. Those torpedoes were not necessary on that. Oh, you're. That's good. Right, you need to run away. Unless. Can I find. No, I've just lost. I've lost that one, so uh, there's no finding the, uh, the, the heavy cruiser. Which is fine, to be honest. I don't want to find the heavy cruiser. I want to keep my destroyers afloat, because these are expensive. Have you got any torpedoes left? No, I don't think you do. That is just so annoying. Right, slow your speed. 20 knots. You have 100% engine efficiency, so... Okay, right. Now, ba back to flank. Time to leave. There we go. There's the torpedoes fired by that um that cruiser. And good look at look at the wall of torps. So we know we need to avoid the light cruisers. There we go. No victory points, but a huge economic damage. You know, all fifteen and a half thousand tons each. Those things, and we sunk. What was that? Ten of them. So well over 150,000 tons of damage. That is a lot of shipping. Now we have a battle. Three of our light heavy cruisers versus three of theirs. We have the Am the Ampharite, the Cotrain, and the Narcissus versus the Comet, the Deutschland, and the Admiral Scheer. Hmm. Let's see what their heavy cruisers are like. Now this is going to be a defining moment, because if their heavy cruisers are brutal, we are in for a problematic time. Now if you remember, these are the Hope class heavy cruisers. They're mounted with eight 8-inch eight guns, eight 5-inch guns, eight 4-inch guns, and eight torpedo tubes. That wasn't intentional. Spotted to the northeast. We're going to turn in. Hmm. Now the fact that that 30 is available probably means they're a fair way away from us, and probably running. Now here's to the question is, are they a 30 knot speed? 
if they can... I think we're closing on them, because we've just dropped down to times 10. Now, these ships are, in my opinion, relatively well armoured for heavy cruisers, but it's gonna... this is a real defining moment of what... what are we facing here. Anyway. Okay, we flanked east, and before I even knew it, we're facing them again, they're spotted. I, let's go and have a look at what we're facing with here. Oh, good lord. <sighs> okay, so... We have eight 8-inch eight guns, they have 12. And it looks like the same hull as a light cruiser. Interesting. So, I'm assuming... There you go. So you've got fives along the deck. I think those are threes. And torpedo tubes, as well as... Possibly a two there? Four? Maybe that's a four? I don't know. There's no fours on deck, so I think those are twos. Lots of triple ones. Triple twos, even. So they're Lots of torpedo tubes. These things are awful. Um, not entirely sure how to engage these. Let's play it by ear and see what damage we can do. I need to identify them. I need to know what I'm facing here. They're probably torpedo... Well, I don't know what their torpedo range is. Mine is six kilometers, so really we don't want to close any closer than that. Well, I don't want to try and torpedo these things, not while I don't know what they are. I mean, they obviously have torpedoes, so... And we are in gun parity for two of their ships. Three of mine are par have parity to two of theirs, so... That's ridiculous. I'm going to put it on save torpedoes in case we do come into... They are giving chase, which is interesting. So they want the fight. I'm going to give them... A, I'm going to play it fast and keep my distance. I'm not closing on these things. I wonder which one's leading... Ah, so it's Comet leading the column. Let's have a look. Funnily enough, we haven't identified either of those two yet. Um... So, those are the eights, those are the fives. Oh, that's a three up there, so those are twos there. I didn't even see those. I guess the twos are because they don't want me running them down with destroyers. And then they have a lot of torpedoes. So they're a fraction of a knot slower than me. They've got a lot less armor than me. Force boilers, Orcs 1. Semi-balanced rudder, crop three. Their armor's not as good as mine. I think I'm using crop four. Or is crop three the best one? Crop three might be the best one. Reduced ammo. That's interesting. I don't know how much weight that saved. 20 inch fast torpedoes. Same as me. Ah uh, yeah, crop three's the best. I'm using crop three as well. But they're, they're just not as armoured as we, I, we are. I guess in the, in the famous naval triangle, they've gone for... Um, they've gone for armament. And we... <laughs> look how well that's working out for them. Hmm. That doesn't look functional anymore. Joyous day, that is. Just have a watch. Let's watch this come in. I'm trying to get cinematic shots from the thumbnails here. Well, I can't even click back onto my ships. Damn it. There you go, that's my nice. That'll do. <laughs> oh. In the meantime, what are they doing? I want to circle round again. Even my fives are opening up, which is good, because it's what they're there for. Now, I guess you could argue... I, mean, I don't think I had any triple turrets available to me. I might have had triple fives. But 
I'm not a fan of just covering the ship entirely in as many barrels as possible. Mine are definitely better hulks. This is definitely a better heavy cruiser hull than theirs. Now focusing on the narcissist there. Let's turn around, let's turn again, let's throw off her aim. And reduce speed to about 24 knots so our aim is better. Now I know it's a fraction, barely, but the knowledge that we are faster does please me. Because it means we can and run away. Speaking of which, there's a penetration. This is where you really need destroyers or light cruisers because I can't really risk sending one of these in to try and torpedo, but I could risk a smaller ship. Scheer and Deutschland have taken no damage. Comet has now got a damaged rudder, I think. Yep. And they are closing on us because we slowed our speed. Okay. Closing on us. I'm wondering if I'm going to speed up again. Move to flank. Move away. There's narcissists here. Or should I bring them? I'll bring my ships round actually, because they're breaking off. So I'm going to bring my ships round to try and draw fire away from narcissists there. My coffee's gone cold. It's not very warm to begin with, I guess. To be honest, I think this fight is going to be a very long and grueling one unless one of us rushes in and tries to torpedo the other. So I'm going to break off. The only reason I'm doing that, you might seem, think it foolish, I'm of the opinion we need either we need a smaller, faster ship that can um, torpedo them, or we need something that can move in and take damage. A crew, these cruisers are. Very well matched, unfortunately. So I am going to break away. Now I were in my gun range for some time, but whilst they're crossing my T there, I'm going to move as fast as I can away from them. Just because look at the amount of fire coming in. These aren't things I want to do one-on-one. -on -one. I took oh, I took this fight to see what they were like, but this isn't something I'm going to maintain. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead, and we shall... Okay, I'm going to uh, cut ahead to when we've managed to outrun these things and get away from them. Because this isn't a fight I particularly want to take one-on-one. -on -one. If it was 3-2 uh, to two or better, <laughs> I'd take it obviously, but as you can see we're getting few and far between hits here. And I think Cochrane here has actually not been, lo been... I think they've lost sight of it anyway, so... Shouldn't be long. Narcissus here has actually taken quite a pound there. You know, but I think this is just comments of the fact that I've armoured this thing well. She's 
taken a lot of shells, but haven't done much damage. The deck has been peppered a bit. We've got one 5 inch gun off line. Yeah, there you go, we've got one 5 inch off line there. Um, but apart from that, everything is functioning properly. Rear tower is a bit cold, but we are getting away from them. We've lost sight of one of them. It's only a matter now before we're uh, before we're in the clear. Okay, there we go. Despite the fact that neither of, neither of anyone sunk any ships and they lost more crew, the game is calling it a defeat to me. I will dispute that and call it a success because we've scouted their cruisers and we managed to get away. They're, they weigh less than my ships and they have many, many more guns. It's alarming. <laughs> but there we go. We have an idea of what to expect now. Ah! Now we can make a 15,000 ton heavy cruiser. That's not good. Oh no. I was hoping we were going to get a 13,000 ton light cruiser. Have we been given that? We can't even make a 15,000... What? What? Ah! Because the heavy cruiser hull 1... Heavy Cruiser 1 only goes up to 14,500 tonnes, and mo the modern light cruiser only goes up to 9,000... So, we can make bigger cruisers, but we don't have hulls to do that. Oh, how irritating. Okay, another one of these. I'm obviously going to take it, and I'm just going to run down their convoys again. Simple, isn't it? Simple process. Okay. Let's skip ahead to when the convoy appears. And there we have the first ship sighted. Now what I might do is try and torpedo one of those bigger ships. Try and get in. So I'm going after I've and torpedo one of our one of the escorts this time. Make it interesting and see if we can do it. I don't think we can. Those things are armed to the teeth, and uh, I don't want to run one of my DDs against it. But I'm going to try! Turn torpedoes off this time, I don't want them being wasted. And, uh. Ah! These transports are armed. At least some of them are. Right. Aim, aim for the ones that are armed. And we've already got fire coming in from the escorts or something. That just suffered a. Uh, from the sounds of it, this just suffered a flash. Right, turn your torpedo tubes and torpedo that thing. No, this thing in the bug. Now, Sasha. Torpedo the one shooting at us. There you go, what would you believe it? Those 20 inch torpedoes are murderous to the convoy ships. So annoyingly we've had a wounded captain and the ship's on fire. Uh, who gave these transports bigger guns than my destroyers? God damn it! They're all armed, actually, by the looks of it. I don't think targeting the armed ones is going to work. Well, I think they've got, what, a single four-inch? No, so two in two four-inch guns. Light shells, standard, cordite, TNT. It's only TNT two. Yeah, it doesn't really stand up to my heavy 3-inch shells for being fired via TNT-3 tube powder. My guns are uh, infinitesimally better. Have we got any torpedoes loaded? I don't think so. It looks like one of our torpedo launchers is also out of action, which is annoying. Well, if we don't get victory points for sinking armed merchant ships, I don't know what we do who get. Okay, well 
Norman's engaged Koenig here, and uh, the other two are shooting at Oldenburg. Very well. Then we'll have to go back for Bolke. I'm going to swing around these two and head back that way. The escorts, I think there's three of them. I don't... I know I said I was going to go for them, but I'm, I've changed my mind. <laughs> now, the AI thinks Koenig is done for, because it stopped shooting at it. The question is, is, is Koenig done for? Turn those torps off, I don't want to waste them. Well, ruin Koenig, come back around, ruin Oldenburg, then go for Bulky. I wish you could give consecutive orders like that, that would be good. Then again, this isn't a... It's not an RTS, or... Well, no, it, it, it is an RTS, that's why you can't, sorry. But this is a real-time strategy. Admittedly, you can speed it up, but it's still an RTS. Hmm. That's one of our... Well, that's a heavy cruiser. What the fucking torpedo it? Smoke screens. Ah, alright. That's definitely now the target. Right, save. It's terrifying. All of death. Um, do I launch? Right, no. How do I main guns? Right, what are main guns? Shift alt. Shift alt on Mulkey. Shift on that thing. Come around. Battle sound. Fire the torpedoes if you've got any. I didn't expect them to close in that close. But that's pretty bad. Go for gearing here. Gearing? Gearing? How do you pronounce that? Gear up. Gear, there's no ing in it. What am I on about? Gearing's a DD, USDD. Gear. Gear. Now it has torpedoes, underwater tubes by the looks of it as well, or single decks, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Are those, under are those underwater? Uh, yeah, it's got bow and stern on it, torpedo tubes, and lots of deck printers. Now, as you can imagine, our three-inch guns against its four-inch belt, three-inch, well, two-inch extended, the three inches aren't doing anything, unless, so I'm going to switch to firing HE, but I'm trying to maintain torpedoes. Speaking of which... Ah, someone, Falka, just launched her torps, I think. Folk... Folk... Nor? Unless we get real in close, it's not actually worth me running my ships in there. It's not worth waste firing my torps. They're gonna miss. Can Norman outrun those torpedoes? No. Yes. Good lord, that was stupid of me. I'm gonna try and run down this thing. It can... It's actually... Well, no, these are 32 not destroyers, so... It's not faster, but it has got separated from the rest of its ships, meaning it's a prime target for whatever torpedoes we've got left. Oh, proper torpedo beating right now. Uh, that's fine. Is Lance going to run through them? Yep. Uh, what about Faulkner? Faulkner, don't eat a torpedo. Off. God's sake! That was just... poor. Ooh. We've got more torpedoes there. Right. Is this going to be another case of my ships deciding just to eat one? So that light cruiser is behind us, which isn't great. I should have probably run away when I had the chance. But, someone's just launched more torpedoes. Break, Norman, break.
Lance, oh, for the Lord, for the Lord's sake. I hate the division system in this game so much. Right, you break. You, I've got a torpedo beat you through this. I hate the division system in this game so much. Like, I understand that your orders are to follow in line, but that doesn't mean... That really doesn't mean follow so stupidly in line that you end up eating torpedoes, like... Falconer here. Good lord, how many torpedoes does that thing have? Get out of the way, Lance. What's wrong with my destroyers? Why are you doing 20 Norman? No. You're not doing 20 knots, it's Lance is sinking. I think we might have lost these destroyers. I might have buggered this one up. Faulkner, get out of here. Throw your smoke, get out of here. Norman, run that s s thing down. Lance, you're becoming a sacrificial lamb. I actually want Faulkner to get out of here, though. Get torpedoes off. Or smoke. There we go. Alright, disengage. Not worth it. You're gonna have to keep going for that. that bow launched? Yeah, stern even. This is definitely another absurd irritation I have with this game. The the AI is far, far too capable with torpedoes because they design their ships to have. Let's go over this. This is this. Let's have a look at this thing. So that's quad. So that's eight, twelve. So fourteen tor torpedo tubes on that thing on a light cruiser. The Jap. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I think the Japanese only exceeded that with the t torpedo cruisers. But it's absurd, <laughs> and I don't. I mean, it begs the question: Where did they, you know, with an eight thousand ton ship as well? You, you have to. St I mean, I'm, I'm definitely asking myself, you know, okay, but crop one. That actually increases the weight, so I'm still asking myself, how how can they afford to have so many torpedoes on their ships? It's definitely something that needs working on, I think, because it just means, especially in engagements like this, torpedoes are a real issue. Because you might say, Tom, you need to stop running your ships down, you need to stop trying to run the enemy down. You need to do you you know realistically torpedoes were used at range. You're completely correct, but the problem is, well, if if I if an AI ship over here launches torpedoes, I might not spot them until they're here. The AI knows when there's metal, the torpedoes are in the water immediately. Almost nine, you know, sort of ninety-nine times out of a hundred, they know when there's metal fish in the water, and it makes them unless you run the, them down and give them no chance to dodge. It makes torpedoes useless, which is why I didn't put them on any of my larger ships. I, you know, the battleship or the heavy or the the battle cruiser. It was not it was not worth it, and it's why I was primarily focusing on guns for these things. Anyway, this one's overrun because we've ended up doing a few things. Next time we're going to look at designing a 40 knot destroyer. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Stay well and goodbye for now.